In this novel technique of doing cataract surgery, a direct entry to the anterior chamber is made through the conjunctiva, a small portion of sclera, limbus and cornea. AC is filled now with viscoelastic and the cystitum enters the anterior chamber through the floor of the tunnel rather than going through the entire length of the tunnel that you have created. Rexis is made and completed and the anterior chamber remains deep and there are no folds in the cornea to limit your visualization because the entry is in the limbal area and not through the anterior end of the tunnel. One percent lignocaine is infused into the anterior chamber. Visco is injected again and the tunnel is enlarged. With a modified hydrodissection cannula, a one-point hydrodissection is created separating the cortex from the capsule. Nucleus is now rotated along with the epinucleus into the anterior chamber and uh, to minimize the enlargement of the tunnel, it is bisected into three pieces and removed. It is supported behind by a modified virovectus which is very narrow and uh, the cannula which is 26 gauge uh, in caliber continuously injects viscoelastic into the anterior chamber in front of the nucleus minimizing the possible damage to the endothelium. Cortex is now aspirated completely and then intraocular lens is implanted with an injector. Because of good hydrodissection, the capsule are uh, separating uh, from the cortex. Uh, the cortex aspiration is straightforward and quite easy. Some amount of capsular polishing is done to remove the visible lens epithelial cells using Simco cannula, straight as well as the right and left sub-incisional. IOL is dipped into the viscoelastic before I actually fold it to minimize the stickiness of the uh, hydrophobic material haptic to optic. So I don't use an injector. A long needle or a rod pushes the lens into the capsular bag. As you can see, it's not an injector. It is a thick bore long cannula. Lens is positioned and the entire viscoelastic in the anterior chamber and behind the lens and in the capsular bag is aspirated. There is no need for hydration as you not stretch the tunnel, form the chamber at the end. There is no need for bandaging the eye and patient will have immediate rehabilitation. The entire surgery is done under topical anesthesia so patient can be well rehabilitated. This is a, a eye with very shallow chamber. You have seen the peripheral arachnomy. Again, the tunnel floor entry technique is of great use whenever the chamber is shallow or when the cataract is mature. You see that the chamber is rock steady, deeply formed with the HPMC. Hydrodissection. Rotate the nucleus with the epinucleus, bring it to the anterior chamber, either bisect or trisect it depending upon the size of the nucleus. There is certainly a steep learning curve in this uh, technique uh, as it involves performing under topical anesthesia, it involves maximum endothelial conservation, especially as the FECO uh, ultrasound is not used. Uh, the uh, it's a single tunnel surgery and uh, uh, the surgeon's induced astigmatism is least it's uh, less than 0 0.4 and uh, rehabilitation is extremely quick you can note that the conjunctiva tenons does not need a separate management and uh, uh, the surgery can be done very elegantly 
Sclerocornial tunnel in a mature cataract can easily be handled by tunnel flow entry technique. There is no shallowing of the entry chamber and uh, the tendency to run off to the periphery is minimal because the visco is trapped in the entry chamber and does not allow shallowing of the chamber. You can complete the rexis even in a cataract like this and even in Morgagnin cataracts without the risk of it running off to the periphery. Uh, this is possible even in case of very extremely shallow chambers and even in phacomorphic or phacotoxic or phacoanaphylactic glaucoma where the chamber is hardly present. This is a case of Morgagnin cataract and uh, again tunnel floor entry is done at that point. Visco is trapped inside the chamber and you can still continue to perform a good rexis in such scenario. Learning technique uh, is there. You can beginning, you can start using the sclerocorneal tunnel at, like this, the entry at the limbus, and this can be adopted in any any technique of cataract surgery. Thank you.